Well, you've likely seen the ads for price matching, and while it is a good deal, we learned that some retailers are better than others at giving you the savings. Two News anchor Dina Silk shows you the easy way to save cash and time in tonight's segment two. Stores advertise low prices, but one store is taking its rollbacks to a whole new level. TV ads, ads in the paper, and advertisements at the register alert customers to Walmart's ad match guarantee. They're not the only store promising to meet a competitor's price, but they're the ones screaming it the loudest. So, is it really that easy? To find out, we took hidden cameras to Walmart and two other stores that price match. We've got some price match items going on here. Okay. So. All right. Price matching requires organization. Look through all the ads, pick out what you need, and see who offers it the cheapest. Then look for coupons to save even more. Create a shopping list, and you're ready to go. These are $1.47 here. They're a dollar at Target, so we should save 47 cents. Armed with a list, we show our photographer what to buy. He doesn't use coupons, so this is a whole new experience. What am I calling this? Match price. Price, price, match, yeah. price. He was nervous, just like any shopper might be the first time they try to save money, but he didn't get tripped up when a Walmart cashier asked him a question. Do you have the ad with you? I don't. Okay. You don't have to have it, right? Well, should. Walmart's policy clearly says you don't need the ad, but you do need to show Staples the lower price to get the price guarantee. Do you have a flyer? Staples made copies of our ads and looked at the details of every sale item. During our transaction, four employees came over to help. We asked Staples to price match this master lock. Dollar General had it on sale for $3. They look the same, right? Well, that wasn't enough for Staples. I do it they don't have model numbers, we don't do Couponer Ashley Muth says pictures have caused her problems too. They didn't like the picture of it, even though it matched their scotch tape. And they said that it was must have been a bigger volume. As a goodwill gesture, the store matched two scotch tape rolls, but that was it. Ashley says she's also had trouble when she uses coupons with a price match. They don't understand how if you have a buy one get one coupon and a buy one get one sale, it's free. In our test, we tried to price match two packages of whiteout while using a coupon. Walmart gave us the coupon discount but did not price match. And at Office Max, another mix up over the whiteout deal. You only do one there. The two packages of whiteout should have been free for our discounts, but Office Max charged us $4.79. They forgot to price match one package and never applied the coupon. Coupon blogger Michelle Filler of Filler's Finds says it's a common mistake. You want to make sure you're watching everything that they're doing um, because otherwise, you know, all of your time and effort would could be for nothing. Filler gave our photographer a quick tip to make sure he doesn't overpay again. One of the things I would have suggested is to do the price matching first and leave your coupons for the end. That helps avoid confusion at the register. Despite the minor problems, we turned a spender into a saver. No, it made me actually want to maybe try it again. Dina Silk, 2 News works for you.